hello viewers you are hello welcome let's see how we are going to solve this beautiful equation here i have 4 to the power x minus 2 to the power x equals 1 there was the value of x so here permit me to rewrite this equation as having 2 to the power 2 because 4 can be written as 2 to the power 2 then 2 to the power x okay minus 2 to the power x equals 1 right so from there so we can have from the law of indices whenever you have a to power b and you have c this can be written as a to power c then we have b so by interchanging this and this okay so we are going to interchange this two and x that is the power so we are going to be having two to power x then two power two minus two to power x equals one are you following so now from there so the next thing we are going to do is that we let two to power x p a okay if 2 to the power s is a so what are we going to have so we're going to see that we have this to be a squared minus a then let me transpose one here to the left hand side i'm going to be having this equals zero so now from there so the next thing we are going to do is so you're going to see that here this is a quadratic equation in terms of what in terms of in terms of a so we look at the value of a so here we can't use a vectorization method here so what we are going to use is a quadratic formula so let's try to relate this with a quadratic equation this plus c equals zero so now according to this so we can see that our a is the coefficient of a squared which is capital a so a here is one b is minus one then c is what minus one right so now from there so quickly let's first look at what are we are going to have let's look at um, the discriminant that is the p square minus 4 ac whether we are going to have real solution or not so now from here so we have a discriminant to be b square we have minus one square minus four times a is one then c is minus one so here we have one then minus four times this give us four right so we have one plus four to be five so we have a discriminant to be five so which is greater than zero which is telling us that we have real root real root right so now for that we are going to move on by using are going to move, we are going to move on by using um, by using quadratic you know, formula so now using quadratic formula so this is what we are going to have so we are going to have this okay so we have a to be equals minus b plus or minus then the square root of the discriminant over 2 here right so we have a equals so minus b according to what we have here minus b is minus one okay according to what we have here minus b that is b is minus one so therefore we are going to be having minus minus one plus then the square root of d is five according to what we have there divided by two a is what is one right so let me show you i'm sorry so we're going to have that so a equals minus so we are going to be having a equals so this will be one plus root five then over what over two right so don't, don't forget we have plus or minus here plus or minus here so it's either we have what is either we have a to be equals one plus root five over two one plus root five over two or what or one minus root five over two okay so now from here we can see that here we are having two values okay so this is positive okay why this is what negative do you understand now so we need to take note of that then the next thing we are going to do is we are going to see whether because this a we have uh, is not what we are actually looking for so what we are looking for is the variable x so now let's recall recall that a equals what two to power out two to power x so therefore here this will always greater than zero that is positive 
so now if a should be greater than zero so it means we are going to pick only this one that is greater than zero because when they say positive it means greater than zero then we reject this one we reject it this will be rejected right so now for that we are going to pick only that one so we are going to be having 2 to power x equals when a is 1 plus root 5 over 2 so we're going to have what we're going to have we're going to have 1 plus root 5 over what over 2 okay so starting from here so that is let me write itself here we have what we have we have 2x equals 1 plus root 5 over 2 right so therefore what are we going to do here so because we are looking for the value of x so we will need to bring down this x so by introducing a uh, log of piece 10 okay this is going to be log 2 to the power x equals log then 1 plus root 5 over 2 right so now from there so x we go we have x log 2 equals log 1 plus root 5 over what over 2 right so now from there so the next thing we are going to do here is that uh you can see from the law of logarithm to whenever you have log a okay divided by b this will be log a minus log b do you understand log a that will be log a minus log b understood so now from there you're going to see that we can rewrite this right hand side in that form x log 2 equals log 1 plus root 5 right then minus log 2 so now from here we divide both sides by log 2 divide both sides by log 2 so this we cancel this we have x to be equals log 1 plus root 5 minus log 2 okay then divided by log 2 so this is the solution to the problem so it is advisable to leave our answer in this form okay so that we now have approximated value but if you wish okay you can just insert this into your calculator and it will give you a decimal value which is approximated value so now that's the end of the class if you find the class very interesting so do not hesitate to uh subscribe to this channel hit on the bell icon so that you know so that you'll be notified anytime we upload a new content thank you bye, -bye.